Welcome once again to Domoj Math and Science. In today's lesson, we'll be solving problems in trigonometry. Our major objective is to help you understand how to interpret what problems relating to trigonometry and also we'll be applying Sokatoa. If this is the first time you are coming in contact with our channel, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button and also click the notification bell. That way you'll be sure to get notified anytime we create lessons like this. Now let's look at this first question. From the first floor of a building, Ibe saw a golden camera 8 meters away from the base of the building. That is, the camera is 8 meters away from the base of the building. Let's pick the base of the building. Here's the base of the building. If the height of the first floor is 11 meters, where Ibe is actually standing, Ibe is standing at a height that is 11 meters tall. Now, Find the angle of depression to the camera. The camera is actually at this point. This is where you have your camera because it is 8 meters away from the base of that building. Now, and it's standing, eBay is actually standing on the building that is 11 meters. Now, if you look at eBay, eBay has an eyesight. Let's assume this is eBay's eyesight. Now, eBay is now going to tilt his eyes a little bit to see this camera here. Now, Ibe has tilted his eye through this angle. Now, this is the angle of what? That is my angle of depression. The angle of depression in this case is the angle at which Ibe had to look down to see the camera down here. Now, for me to calculate this angle, I already have my triangle. Let's label this triangle. We'll call this triangle A, triangle B, and triangle C. So if this is triangle ABC, obviously there's an angle in here. Let's call this angle alpha. And let's refer to my angle of depression. Let's call it theta. So that obviously my angle of depression, my angle of depression, which is theta, plus my alpha will be equal to 90 degrees. Now if my angle of theta, if theta and alpha are 90 degrees, we can discover alpha, then we'll be able to solve for theta. Now, from our formula, so katoa, so katoa, you agree with me that here, with respect to alpha, I have the opposite, which is 8 meters, that's line BC, and I also have the word, the adjacent. So what we'll be thinking of, we'll be thinking of tan. Tan of alpha says opposite all over adjacent, which is equals to 8 all over 11. Now, which is 8 over 11, 8 divided by 11 for my calculator is the same thing as 0 0.7, that's equals to 0 0.7273. 7273. Now, for me to now discover what alpha is, I'm talking of the tan inverse of 0 0.7273, which is equals to. Now, the tan inverse of, if you look through your calculator, you see that the tan inverse of 0 0.7273 will be the same thing as 36.033. There's a point here, please degrees. Now, we have seen that alpha is equals to 36.03 degrees. But what the examiner actually wants, it wants the angle of depression. So if you want the angle of depression, all I need to do is go back to my first equation here, go back to this equation, and since my theta plus alpha is equals to 90 degrees, my theta plus 36.03 is equals to what? 90. Theta is equals to 90 minus 36.03, which is equals to subtract 36.03 from 90. That will leave us with 53, 53.97 degrees. Now, with this, you can understand how to solve for angle of depression. 
It's just about interpreting the question. It's not difficult at all. Take it one after the other. The question says, from the first floor of the building, from the first floor of a building, Ibe, that means Ibe is standing on the first floor. I need to pick the height of the building, which I've done here. He was able to pick a camera that is 8 meters away from the base of the building. This is the base of the building and it's 8 meters away from it. If the first floor of the building is 11 meters, which I'm given here as 11 meters, then you can easily solve for the for the angle of depression. Let's see our second now, question. Question 2 says, okay, start question 3 here. Question The second question says, Jimo walks... 40 meters up a hill, which slopes at an angle of 200 of 20 degrees. Sorry, sorry. This must be 20 degrees, not 200. This is 20 degrees. I apologize for this. To the horizontal. Calculate correct to the nearest meter. The horizontal distance covered. Now, let's see. Let's draw like we did in the first instance. Jima works up. Jimo walks 40 meters up a hill, which slopes. Now, Jimo is going to walk 40 meters. This is a hill. The hill slopes at an angle of 20 degrees to where? To the horizontal. Now, this is the hill. Mr. Jimo is going to stand here. Yes, Mr. Jimo is going to walk up this hill. And is walking from the base of the hill. He's going to walk to an height of how many meters? 40 meters. And this hill is going to slope at 20 degrees. Now, we are now to calculate first the horizontal distance covered. Here is the height of the hill. Now, and the vertical distance covered. Let's name the, tri the triangle. This triangle A, B, and C. Obviously, you see that the horizontal distance covered is the same thing as B, C. And the vertical distance covered from this triangle is the same thing as what? A, B. So we're solving for B, C and we're solving for A, B. Let's get started with the first question. One, I'm to calculate for B, C. You see that with respect to 20 degrees, we have the opposite and we have the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is a A, C, which is 40. So I can use from our formula. Remember our formula? So, ka, twa. If you're not used to it, I always advise my students to write it out. That way you can picture it. The more you write it out, the more you picture it, the more questions you solve, the easier it becomes to understand. Now, so ka, twa. To have been sign, since I'm, I am dealing with opposite and hypotenuse, sign 20 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse which is equals to line ab that's line ab all over 40 so if sine 20 is equals to line ab over 40 we we'll refer to it as and we are solving for ab easily we can do what we can cross multiply let's write it out properly this sine 20 is equals to line a, B over 40. Now, this implies that line A, B is equals to 40 sine 20, which is equals to 40 times, what's the sign of 20? The sign of 20 from my calculator is sign of 20 that's 0 0.3, 0 0.3, that's times 0 0.342. Now this 0 0.342 times 14, that's equals to 13.68. Please do not forget your unit. Now, Jimo works 40 meters. That shows we are working in what? Working in meters, 13.68 meters. Now, the same thing we're going to do to the vertical distance covered. To calculate for the vertical distance covered, let's, uh, we know that from our, from, from our formula, from Sokatoa, from our formula here, we know that we'll be dealing with what? We'll be dealing with adjacent. That line BC is adjacent to the angle of what? 20 degrees. So we'll be editing it. Oh, sorry. 
cost cost 20 is equals to line bc all over 40 so that line bc obviously is equals to 40 times cost 20 which is equals to 40 times the cost of 20 the cost of 20 is the same thing as 0 0.9396 0 0.0.9396 0 .0 which is equals to that's times 40 0 0.9396 times 40 that's equals to 37 point five nine that's seven point five nine now with this i i believe you should understand how to interpret this question and let's see the first the third, the third question. question i will advise you pause this video and try your hands on this question i'll give you some few minutes to do that please okay let's get started now the third question says a ladder leans against a vertical at an angle of a vertical wall at an angle of 60 degrees to the wall. If the height of the wall is 12 meters, calculate the length of the ladder. Now, the ladder is actually leaning against a wall. Now, what do I do? Let's take the diagram of the wall. And this is the wall, but the ladder is leaning against this wall at 60 degrees. At 60 degrees. Definitely, the ladder is going to lay on the floor. Now, to the wall, this ladder is making 60 degrees. That means I have 60 degrees in here. And if the height of the ladder, the ladder has a height of 12 meters. That means from here to the ground floor, I have 12 meters. Calculate the length of the ladder. Let's name the triangle. Triangle A, triangle B, and triangle C. Now, this is the length of the ladder. The length of the ladder is AC. That means I'm interested in AC. Now let's write down our formula like we should do. We have so ka twa. Now we've agreed that the ladder is leaning against the wall at an angle of 60 degrees. And if you look at it to 60 degrees, the wall is actually making an adjacent. So what are we thinking of? We'll be thinking of our cosine. Now cos theta, remember, is equals to what? adjacent over hypotenuse so that cos 60 will be equals to 12 over line ac now so that from here this implies that 12 is equals to cross multiply is equals to line ac times cos 60 then I can conclude if I divide both sides by 60. From here, I'll divide this side by cos 60. And I'll also divide this side by what? Cos 60. So that my line AC is equals to 12 divided by cos 60. So that cos 60 from my calculator is the same thing as 0. 0.5. Five. Line AC is equals to 12 over 0 0.5. 12 divided by 0 0.5, obviously, is 12 times 1 over 2. That is equals to 24. And my measurement is in meters. This is 24 meters. Now, so thank you for staying with us. If this is the first time you're coming in contact with our channel, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be sure to receive notifications anytime we create lessons like this. See you in our next class.